Hello, welcome back to Storybook Crochet. In today's video, I thought we could do these little um, tiny pies and these will be perfect for Thanksgiving as that is quickly approaching. So to make these, you're gonna need some worsted yarn and you could use different size yarns, um, a thinner yarn or a bulkier yarn, but just know that that will make that either smaller or bigger than this size. So if you're wanting this size, you'll wanna use a worsted yarn and I am using, I love this yarn and this color is toast, toasted almond. And then for today's, I'm going to use the blue for the, um, the blueberry pie here. And this color is royal. You're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, a stitch marker, a yarn needle, and you will need some fiber fill. So let's grab all of those supplies and we will get started. Before we get started, I wanted to ask you to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to get notified immediately of future videos that come out. I have a couple more Thanksgiving patterns and then we will start in on our Christmas patterns um, for the holidays. So go ahead and hit those and then also in the comments below, let me know what your favorite kind of pie is. I'm going to have to say apple for mine, but I would love to hear what your favorite kind is. Okay, so to get this started, we're going to start out with our blue yarn and or whichever um, your pie filling color is. So blue or red or if you're wanting to do more of a, like an apple pie color um, or even you could even do pumpkin. Um, so to get started, we're going to start out with a magic circle. And in this magic circle, we're going to make six single crochets. And I will be writing the pattern on the screen as well. So you can also um, read along with the pattern. So if you get lost, you don't have to necessarily rewind to listen again. Okay, once you have made your six single crochets, go ahead and pull that tail tight to close that opening. And we will not be joining or chaining one here. We're just going to be continuing around. So that's where your stitch marker will come in handy. Okay, so for round two, we're just going to increase around. So we're going to put two single crochets in each of those six stitches that we just made. We're going to increase in each stitch. So at the end of round two, you'll have a total of 12 single crochets. All right, for round three, we're gonna be starting to make these little um, bumps where it looks like the berries in our pie. And to do this, we're going to be making a popcorn stitch. So I will show you real quick how to do that. And we'll, we're gonna make one in our first um, stitch of this round. So you're going to make four half double crochets into that first stitch. So you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna insert your hook into that first stitch Pull your loops up. You have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three. That's one half double crochet. I'll show you that one more time if you're not um, familiar with the stitch yet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, pull your yarn up, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so you're going to make four of those all in that first stitch. Okay, when you get the four made, you're gonna go ahead and pull up that loop so it's a little bit bigger, and you're gonna take your hook out. You're gonna insert it into that very first half double crochet that you made, and then you're gonna insert it back into the loop that you were just working with, and then you're just gonna pull it through that very first half double crochet there, and then you're gonna chain one. Okay, so we just made a popcorn stitch. So after the popcorn stitch, we're going to make an increase, a single crochet increase in the next stitch. So you're just going to put two single crochets. Okay, so we did a popcorn and an increase. And we're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. Popcorn and then increase. So I'm going to show you the popcorn stitch one more time. 
So you're going to make your four half double crochets in that next stitch. Alright, once you have your four made, pull that loop up, insert into that fourth, or that, sorry, that first half double crochet, so you can count over one, two, three, and four, insert it into the first one, grab your loop there, and pull it through, then chain one, and then you'll make your increase in the next stitch, so two single crochets. So you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around for round number three. After this, you'll have a total of 18 stitches made, including your popcorn stitches. All right, so this is what um, our pie should look like after our first three rounds are made. So for round four, we're going to start out with an increase in the first stitch. So where that um, popcorn stitch is, you're going to make an increase. And then we're just going to make one single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll popcorn stitch in the next one. Okay, so you're just going to repeat that pattern around. So increase where the um, popcorn stitch is from your previous round. One single crochet in the next one and then popcorn in the next. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches once you are done with round number four. Okay, so we have one more round of our blue here and then we're gonna switch to our brown. So for this round, you're gonna start off in the first stitch with just one single crochet. Okay, in the second stitch, you'll make your popcorn stitch. Okay, after you get your popcorn stitch done, in the third stitch, you're going to make one more single crochet. And then in the fourth, you're going to increase. So that's the pattern that we're going to do around for this round of number five. So you're going to single crochet, popcorn, single crochet, increase. And just repeat that all the way around until we get to the end. And like I said, for round six, we're going to grab our brown yarn. So you'll want to get that ready. Alright, so that was our last round of blue, so go ahead and slip stitch into that next um, stitch there, and we're going to just cut our yarn, and you don't have to cut it long because we're going to just go ahead and weave that in. Okay, so grab your yarn needle, and we'll weave that in, and then after that, go ahead and grab your brown yarn, and we will get started on making the edging of our crust. Alright, so to start our edging of our crust, you can just pick any stitch to work in, but we're going to work in the front loop only. So you can see each stitch has like a little V here. Normally we would work underneath both of those, but for this round we're going to work just under that very front one. So you just have to insert your hook in between the two stitches. So once you do that, just grab your yarn and pull it through. Okay, and then we're just going to slip stitch all the way around in the front loop only. So you'll go under that front loop of the next one and make a slip stitch. And then you're just gonna do that all the way around. And this just kind of starts off the edging of our crust. And then we will make the little um, scalloped edges here next. So go ahead and make your slip stitches in your front loop only all the way around. And then I'll show you how to make those scalloped edges. Okay, so this is what our edging should look like so far. So for the last round of that, we are going to be working in between the two um, loops on each stitch again, but this time we'll work in the back loop only. So you're just insert your hook in between those two loops 
and in our first stitch we're going to make three single crochets all in that one stitch and this makes our scallops of our edging okay so when you put after you put the three in there in the next stitch you're going to slip stitch okay and you're just going to repeat that around so the next one you'll put three single crochets and then slip stitch in that next one okay so repeat that around and that's what that'll start to look like um, we will finish off after this, make the bottom of our pie separate, and then we will sew that together. So go ahead and finish your scalloped edging there, and then we will meet back for the second part of our pie. Okay, so that finishes off. Go ahead and, um, after that last uh, slip stitch, finish that off. You can go ahead and weave that end in as well. And we are going to go ahead and grab our brown yarn and start on the bottom part of our pie. We're going to start with a magic ring and just like the top of the pie we're going to start with six single crochets in our magic ring okay once you have those six made you're going to go ahead and pull on that tail to close that off. So round one is six single crochets. So for round two, we're gonna increase around. So put two single crochets in each stitch. And after round two, that will give you a total of 12 single crochets. All right, for round three, we're gonna start off with one single crochet in the first stitch. And then we're gonna increase in the second stitch. So one single crochet and then increase. You'll repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 single crochets after round three. All right, so for round four, we're gonna do the same kind of pattern, but this time we're gonna start out with one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then increase in the third stitch. So again, you'll just repeat that pattern around. So single crochet, single crochet, increase. Repeat it all the way around for a total of 24 single crochets for round number four. All right, for our last round, we're going to do three single crochets across the first three stitches, and then you'll increase in the fourth stitch. So for this round, you will have a total of 30 stitches once that is completed. So repeat that around and then I will show you how to finish it off and we will sew our pie together. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just slip stitch into that um, first stitch from the last round that we made to finish this off. And you're gonna wanna cut a longer tail for this because we'll use this to sew on the bottom to the top. Okay, so you are want to grab your yarn needle now. We're going to sew on a little bit of the bottom before we put some fiber fill in because it's not very big, so the fiber fill probably won't stay very well until we get a little bit of it sewn on. Okay, so go ahead and flip this over. And the best way I found to do this is to come up through the bottom here, up through the top, right there next to the blue part that we made. And you're just going to come straight up through and then we're going to go back down through the next stitch. Okay, and you're just going to repeat that all the way around. Once you get about half of it sewn on, I will show you how to stuff it with the fiber fill. We'll do that and then we will finish it off. And then I will also show you how to make the lattice work for the top if you're wanting to add that to your pie. Okay, so we got it about halfway sewn on. So you'll go ahead and just grab that fiber fill and let's go ahead and just stuff the bottom. You want, you want it to be nice and rounded. So you'll wanna fill it pretty good. 
once you have it stuffed as much as you want, go ahead and finish sewing that and then go ahead and weave in that end. And then that part of our pie is done. If you're not doing the lattice work, then you are finished with your pie. But if you want to do the lattice work, I'll show you real quick how to do that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you real quick how to make this lattice work. And here is the finished pie that we've just made. Okay, that's what it should look like. So for the lattice work, it's really easy. You're just gonna make a series of chains. So you're, I'm gonna, and I'll write these up on the screen for you after I show you this one real quick. So you're gonna make two chains of 10. So just chain 10. Okay, and then you're gonna leave, cut a longer tail because we'll be on each side because you'll use those to sew it onto the pie. So make two of them that are 10 chains and you're gonna make four of them that are seven chains. So again, I'll write that up on the screen. Go ahead and make all your chains, get them cut and set aside, and I'll show you how to sew each one of those on. Okay, so you should have all your chains made at this point. We're gonna start off with one of our 10 chains, and that's gonna go across the middle of your pie. So it's gonna stretch across like this, and you're just gonna take your yarn needle and sew each end to the pie crust here. So just pull it through, and then you can just weave that in. And I weave it through a couple of times, just to make sure that doesn't come undone. Okay, and then you'll just do the other side, pulling it tight across, like this. So again, you're gonna put the, the 10 chain in the middle, and then on the side here, you're going to grab a seven for each side and you're going to do the sevens. So you'll have three across, a seven, a 10 and a seven. Okay. And then for the, the other three, you're going to turn it so that they're crisscrossing the ones you already sewn on. You're going to do a 10 in the middle again, and then the sevens on the side. And so those, all those ends on, and then you will be finished making your pie. All right, so that finishes off the pattern for the tiny pies. Um, these would make really cute uh, centerpieces for your Thanksgiving table this holiday season. If you enjoyed this pattern, let me know, and I will see you in the next video.